Welcome back to the new part modeling tutorial KTFB5. This is our exercise number 37. Multi port flange. We have front view, top view, and side view. All dimensions are in mm. Scale is 1 is to 2. Sheet is A3 size. First, we will design this base portion. Next, we create this rectangular portion with having a hole and this circular portion this hollow hole this solid circle and this multiple holes we'll move to catia define the sketch and select this top plane position sketch reverse horizontal and select swap and ok first i'm going to create this profile having dimensions of 130 mm in the vertical 78.8 mm and 31.75 in the horizontal and this 72.34 is the radius select center point rectangle create rectangle and give the dimensions this vertical distance is 130 Select horizontal lines, right click, hello symmetry, select horizontal axis, select left side vertical line and vertical axis, right side vertical line and right side axis, left side distance is 78.8 mm, right side distance is 31.75 mm. 78.8 select three point arc select top point and bottom point create arc now constrain this arc select point and origin point right click coincidence Select this vertical line and convert this line as a construction line. Now exit workbench. This feature pad length is 19 mm in the upward direction. Define part body. Select sketch one. Select pad command. Upward direction. Length is 19 mm. And OK. Now I am going to create this 98.5 mm circular portion having 3 mm pad in the downward direction. Define sketch, select XY plane means top plane, position sketch, reverse, swap, okay. create a circle from this origin point. This diameter is 98.5 mm. Exit work pinch. Now define part body. Select sketch to pad. Pad distance is 3 mm. Reverse direction should be in downward. Okay. Now I am going to create this rectangular feature. Vertical distance is 50 mm, horizontal distance is 12 mm, and this portion pad length is 54 mm from the base. Define sketch, select XY plane, position sketch, reverse horizontal, snap, and OK. Select a rectangle, create rectangle. Now constrain this. Horizontal is 12 mm. Vertical length is 50 mm. Select left side vertical line and left side edge of the base. Right click, coincidence. Select top vertical line and top horizontal line of the base. Right click and coincidence. Exit top page. Define part body. 
select sketch 3 select pad command pad length is 54 mm the upward direction and ok now I am going to create this hole hole diameter is 14 mm vertical length is 74.4 mm horizontal length is 27 mm define part body select hole command select the space position sketch select point and left side edge this length is 24 mm select point and bottom edge this length is 17.4 mm now exit workbench hole diameter is 14 mm change blind to up to next review and ok now we created this left side feature same feature we need to create in the right side so we will mirror this feature define part body select pad 3 and hole 1 features in the transformation feature select mirror command select s or select vertical plane and ok now we need to create this circular feature having diameter of 64 mm and distance is 60 mm from the base define sketch select top plane position sketch reverse horizontal select swap and ok select circle command create circle from origin point this circle diameter is 64 mm exit top plane define part body and select sketch 8 select pad command pad length is 60 mm in the upward direction and ok now I am going to create this circular feature with having radius of 18 mm coincidence to the vertical line and vertical distance is 22.4 mm from the base define the sketch select yz line position sketch and ok select circle command create circle which coincidence to the vertical axis this circle diameter is in the drawing the circle dimension given is a radius so this diameter is 18 into 2 is 36 mm select circle center point and horizontal axis this distance is 22.4 mm now exit open bench define the part body select sketch 9 and select pad command length is 130 by 2 select mirror extend and ok now I am going to create this circular feature having diameter of 28 mm this feature created on 30 degree angle from the horizontal axis define sketch insert new plane select this zx plane change offset to angle angle is 30 degree rotational axis is z axis so change minus 30 degree ok now hide all main three planes select line 1 position sketch and ok select circle command create circle which coincides to the vertical axis the circle diameter is 18 into 2 select circle center point and horizontal axis 
vertical distance is 22.4 mm exit of change define the part body select sketch 10 select pad command extend this pad length until it cross this profile make this 105 90 so it crossed this profile on this surface and ok now we need to remove this unwanted feature or unwanted pad length go to start shapes select generative shape design workbench the operations command bar select extract feature or extract command extract this face and ok in the operational command bar select boundary command and select this boundary first limit change this direction towards downward and select second limit and ok hide this extract one so this is our boundary select boundary one select extrude command direction is z direction extend this limit and ok now unite this part body hide the boundary We'll move to part design of pinch. Define part body. Go to insert. Select sketch base feature. Select split command. Splitting element is the extrude one. And OK. So it removed or it splits unwanted profile or unwanted feature from this created plane or created surface add this extrude one and add this plane one now unhide all three main planes now i am going to create this hole having diameter of 18 mm define part body Select whole command, select this face, whole diameter is 18 mm, Up to next, position, select this arc and point, right click, concentricity and exit open and ok, so this is the hole, now we will create this 12 mm edge fillets, this top and bottom edges. And 5 mm radius in the front and bottom side define part body select edge fillet select this corner edges in these two bottom edges radius is 12 mm ok Now select top and bottom edge. This radius is 5 mm. Preview. OK. Now I am going to create this step tool feature. Two wall diameter is 10 mm and first wall diameter is 20 and depth is 2 mm. This whole position at 50 mm in the vertical and 29 mm in the horizontal direction. Define part body. Select this face. Select whole command. Whole diameter is 10 mm. Up to next. Move to type. Change simple to counter bore. 
counter bore diameter is 20 mm depth is 2 mm again move to extension select position sketch select point and vertical plane this horizontal distance is 50 mm select point and horizontal plane this vertical distance is 29 mm now exit out range and ok now we need to pattern this step tool in another 6 location define part body select whole 4 feature in the transformation feature select circle pattern in the parameter select instances and total angle instances are 7 total angle is 360 degree in the reference element select the circular feature or circular face and ok ok So now we need to create this 2mm edge fillets in other all edges define part body select edge fillet select this circular faces or circular feature radius is 2mm and ok That's it for this video. If you have any doubt or any query related to this part, please be commenting in this video. We'll see in the next video.